Welcome back. Foreign Minister Samir Shukri participated on Monday in Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week Summit. Shukri addressed the summit reviewing the outcomes of COP27 conference that was hosted by Egypt and Sharm el-Sheikh last November. Shukri said that there should be more mechanisms to boost development banks to fund climate action. Addressing the summit, Shukri said that the outcomes of COP27 included means of enhancing, lifting the burdens of climate change. He noted that COP27 was successful in facing the impacts of climate change. Shukri added that COP27 was the first conference that put necessary funding to face climate change damage and loss. The top diplomat pointed that during COP27, many governments have offered innovative means of renewable energy. He stressed that the climate change is still the field that needs more work. He underscored that Sustainability Week in Abu Dhabi is considered an important platform to express the remarkable transformation in the climate change file. Meanwhile, Foreign Minister Samir Shukri stressed the importance of putting executive mechanisms to boost the role of the multilateral development banks and international funding institutions in providing climate funding, according to the recommendations of the Sharm el-Sheikh Climate Conference COP27. The COP27 president made the remark at a meeting with the executive secretary of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, Simon Stein, held on the sidelines of his visit to Abu Dhabi, participating in its Sustainability Week. The meeting probed ways of building on the successes of the Sharm el-Sheikh conference last November and putting its recommendations into effect. Earlier, President of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, witnessed the launching of Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week. The event aims at discussing sustainability issues and its challenges, in addition to means of expanding the horizons of dialogue and intensifying efforts to reach solutions to achieve more sustainable future for the next generations. Belarus said on Monday that joint air force drills with Russia began on its territory amid concerns Minsk was being dragged into the Ukraine conflict 